Hello Fox, welcome back to some more TGC 2019 and we're going to be doing another 2020 TGC Tours Major Championship Design Contest Course Olympic Edition and this one is called Katakawa CC Tour and this is by Matt F27 So without further ado, let's get started and we'll put the AI on very hard again, why not? Get our arses slapped again <laughs> Right, uh, the fairways are soft, the greens are firm, and the green speed is fast. We're going off the gold tees, coming in at 7,715 yards. Everything else is set to default, and let's get going. Oh, very nice looking opening hole. Yeah, I hope everybody's um, doing safe again. Uh, not going too stir crazy with this um, global sort of lockdown that everybody's sort of doing. Oh, I do like this. This looks very nice. As I say, in, uh, I've said in a couple of videos, the first hole, you've got to grab them on that first hole, and it's a cracking looking first hole. So let's get the old sky cam up, and we shall have a little look about. Do you love the planting around here as well? I do love the textures, the, the sort of rough texture he's got around in this sort of rough area. That is very nicely done, but we'll go around here, and we'll come out and have a look at the clubhouse it was a clubhouse there it is over there okay before you get to the first tee you have the old driving range here very nice as it just goes up along the side of the lake very nice it looks like we're going to have some really nice lighting as well so let's turn back around and let's go down slowly and have a look at the clubhouse Okay, some nice planting around the clubhouse. Yeah, this rough texture here is very nice. I do like that. Get the odd little sort of bits of plants and that there as well. There's uh, Tommy No Mates standing by himself. Practicing his social distancing again. <laughs> right, we've got some nice little tables and chairs just outside. Let's have a look around the back entrance. Or should I say the front entrance. Very nice. Yeah, and you've got some little hospitality buildings down there as well. So let's head, tell you what, let's go up and have a look at the, the plot, shall we? Okay, very nice looking plot. Got like a cityscape over there. It okay, looked like some maybe office buildings down there, that funny shaped one. Yeah, nice looking plot. So let's go back down towards Clubhouse. Where is the clubhouse? I've lost it. There you go. <laughs> ah, there we are, right down there. So there's a clubhouse there. A nice edging as well around the, the sort of lake. Again, you've got that, that like that rough texture around the, the water edge there. And again, lovely planting. I do like that. Okay, let's head back over towards the first tee. We'll just follow the little pathway over to the first tee. There I am there. And we shall head down the first fairway. <clears throat> and you get your little spectators all meandering about around up this sort of cart path here. Nice depth to the um, fairway bunkers there. Tell you what, it's got some nice sort of terrain work here as well if you look at that all these little humps and bumps got a slope coming off the right there slope coming off the left and again some lovely planting all the way down this section here and what's that there is that the green keepers sort of buildings i think maybe looks like okay it's the first green let's have a little look over here very nice. And you've got a nice big lake sort of in the center of that. And that looks like the second tee. So we shall head up this direction. Again, lovely sort of terrain work. You're never gonna sort of be on a, a like a flat lie there, eh? Look at that. Coming in from the left, coming in from the right, then coming in from the left again. It's got it sort of going down each way down the fairway. Okay, some nice planting around the base of the trees and stuff that. Yeah, that texture work around the base of the trees and stuff. Very nicely done. And again, that sort of rough texture 
in amongst all the little bushes and plants and stuff. Very nice. And we'll follow the path around here. You got some little portaloos just outside the grandstand on that one. Ah, uh, this one looks like a nice little par three. It actually does look like a proper championship course, this one. Very nice. Okay, there's a T here. We'll come back up to this. That looks like that. Is that like a little. Yeah, it looks like a little toilet as well, I think. Yep. Okay, you get a nice light and coming through there as well. Very nice. Yeah, all these sort of rough areas where he's got the planting and the trees and that. <clears throat> it's very well done. What's that? Got some little houses all the way down that section. So we're going to be coming down that way anyway, I think. So let's go down here. And we'll just flick through here. That takes us over to the driving range. So we're going to jump down. Down onto this tee box here. And then we'll go up that, that side. Again, lovely bit of planting around the base of the trees and stuff. Off that tee, over the bridge. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. Nice sort of cityscape there as well. Not overly done, as like some people tend to do. Something just caught my eye there. I thought it was like a little squirrel or something, but it wasn't. It was the shadow of the right there, the shadow of the tree on one of the plants there. Oops, too fast. Let's go that way. Okay, let's turn back round and we'll head through this direction and up through here. And here we go, down by the, the, the little houses and stuff here. Nice, nice little planted areas around the house. You've got the, the, the sort of little driveways, a little white picket fence there with the trees and stuff, little shrubs. And nice little bit of planting just around that side as well. Yeah, very nice. So it carries all the way around and down there. So have we missed anything? I don't think so. Kind of had a good look. Let's go up this section. We haven't kind of been up here yet, I don't think. And then that will take us back down towards the, the clubhouse and we can get this underway again. That texture work in behind all the trees and stuff. I really do like that. Just sort of makes it stand out from the, the actual rough itself. And if you look at that there, it's got a very natural look to it as well. Okay, let's head back down this direction and we shall head back towards the clubhouse and we shall get it started, I think. Okay, you got a lot of um, electricity pylons just going down that direction. Yeah, I don't think we've missed much. I think we've seen about everything. Uh, there's a clubhouse there. I said you've got another nice little lake there as well. Tell you what, I was actually going to post a video yesterday. <clears throat> oh, yeah, well, last night, but I was absolutely knackered yesterday. I got way too early. I actually started the game up, put OBS on to start recording, but I could actually feel myself nodding off, and I was like, nah, I can't. <laughs> I'll leave it till tomorrow. I'll have a day off, I think. So we're back at it. Uh, we'll get a couple couple done. I think there's only one or two out that I haven't done. There's this one and another one. We're still waiting for some more to be published. So let's head down here. And I do like this um, this red sort of woodwork here. It goes around the building. That's very nice as well. Yeah, it's quite a nice looking little clubhouse, that one. So let's follow the cart path up here. And we'll get on to the first tee. And we shall get this started, shall we? Again, what a great view from that first tee. Tell you what, I'm going to take a screenshot there. Because I do like the looks of that. We'll put the HUD back on. And get started. So here we go. Katagawa CC Tour by Matt F 27 This is his entry into the 2020 TGC Tours World Cup of their major championship design. 
Olympic edition. Right. The wind's coming in at 10 mile an hour, coming in from the right hand side. So we're going to actually aim right towards this bunker here, and hopefully the wind will bring it back in for us. Oh, sugar. We hit it fast. And that's turning pretty quick. Hopefully I, turn, I push that quite enough out to the left. Come on, kick, kick. No, damn it. Why do I always start off pretty bad? Always my first tee shot. 143, 12 up, so it's playing around about 147, 71 to 70%. So it doesn't look like, oh, there is a first cut. I just went too far. <laughs> All right, 70, 77. Right, let's go two clubs up maybe. Let's try that. Nine mile an hour wind coming in from the right hand side here. And we hit slow. So we hit a fast, then we hit a bloody slow. Not good. We actually made it onto the green though. But it didn't go up that slope there. So we've got a pretty tough first putt. And what are the green speeds? 181, so that's not too bad actually. It's not 187. Okay, 40 feet, one foot up. Let's put that down a little bit. Looks like everything's going right to left. Oh, I don't think I hit that hard enough. No bloody well near hard enough. Oh, I really should jump on, maybe do nine holes or something, or jump on at the driving range. And I said this in uh, one of the comment sections just before I come on and start recording. I should really hit the driving range or do nine holes just to just to get the swing going. I don't. I usually just come straight on and get the video done. Okay, here we got here, Russell Knox, Ches Reedy, John Ram, Henrik Stenson, Justin Rose, Xin Yun Zhang, Brandon Stone, Maverick and Cliff, Chen Kim and Bo Hosler. Okay, hole two, 478 yards, par four, stroke index five. Again, lovely looking hole this one, you've got a great view all the way down. Again, really nice planting left and right hand side of the, the fairway so you've got quite a few bunkers up here going left and right and the winds dropped just a little touch eight mile an hour so hopefully we can hit a decent one up here yes we do nice as you see that wind is just pushing it over to the left wow eight mile an hour wind that pushed that over quite a bit got a nice kick off that hill though 314 yards and again as I said you're going to be left on like a you know a left to right slope or right to left slope with the way this these fairways are done okay 163 plane around about 165 eight iron I think we shall just go straight at it with the the eight iron because it should hit the green and run on a little bit we'll aim it right towards that slope there well maybe a little bit more actually Oh, I actually pulled that over to the left. Look how much that is moving. Wow. I mean, I know we we're on a slope and the wind was six mile an hour, but that sort of pull, uh, push to the left, that didn't help that. That's, that's quite a distance from the pin. Okay, what we've got here, 26 feet, four inches up. All right, let's make sure we get it to the hole this time. Oh, that's just missed on the right hand side, so we're probably going to come away with another par here. And we do. Come on, let's see if we can pick up a couple of birdies. Okay, hole three, 222 yards. Par three, stroke index 11. Okay, the pin looks kind of central there. Looks like an, uh, oh, you've got a massive slope right at the back of the pin. You've got one at the front of the pin there. So, I mean, even if you go too far here, you probably might come off the slope. Okay, well, we've got 221, four feet down, 203, or oh, four iron, two iron. That is way too much, and that is not enough. So I think I'm going to go with the four iron, but down loft it. If I can get it on the green, it might make it towards the hole. Okay, that's not bad but is it going to make it to the green it did oh it's going to it's turning 
distance wise that wasn't too bad right what we've got here 21 feet and one inch down oh my putting is absolutely terrible <laughs> my putting used to be pretty good as well again I just don't think I'm taking the time with my putting just sort of working out I just do quickly move and then just take my putt I should really take a little bit more time on it but I mean some of these videos when you're, you're looking around the courses like you're talking 40-50 minutes and if you spend an extra 30 seconds or whatever on a bloody putt or 20 seconds it adds quite a few more minutes onto the, the video and like I said I mean you aren't here just to, to see what I actually score you're here to see what the, the course looks like just to give a bit, a bit of um, bit of love to the designers show the course off a little bit K-hole 4, 434 yards, par 4, stroke index 13. Okay, now, oof. Now, if we do hit this slope here on the right, <clears throat> it is going to kick it off to the left, which should be okay, actually. Oh, no! Bloody slow! And that is quite a big one as well. That might end up in the bunker. Oh, what? I thought that would turn a lot more than that. Oh, bloody hell. Look at that. Alright, so my tempo's not that good today. Alright, 120. So it's playing 122. 74, 81. Let's go up. That should oof, do it with that wind, I think. I'll tell you what, let's be safe. Let's go with a 9 iron. Just to make sure. one I think I've hit one perfect perfect so far I think and that's just trickled off yeah playing these courses like this especially with the settings and then how hard these designers have made them if your tempo isn't working if your tempo is not on on point then you're in a lot of trouble oh crap come on both slow up Yeah, so I think um, my next video, if I do one tomorrow, I think I'll probably jump on the driving range for 10, 15 minutes. Or 10 minutes or whatever, just just to try and sort the tempo out a little bit. Oof, that nearly went over the back of the hole there as well. But we haven't dropped a shot yet, so that's not too bad. Hole 5, 488 yards, par 4, stroke index 7. Again, I like that lighting, just as it was the, the flyby started, it was nice and low. Okay, the fairway takes a turn since it hits this sort of bunker, the corner here. Okay, the wind's dropped right down now, three mile an hour. It should be fine, just to smack the driver up there. Right, come on, let's try and get comfortable and try and sort this out. Right, come on. That's better. That was almost a slow though. Oh, don't go off. Stay on. Oh, that was so close. Not a bad drive though, 316 yards. We're over on the right hand side of the fairway. 188, so it's playing 191 to the pin. We've got 183. There's a bit of a upslope there. 183. That wind. Do you know what? That should actually make it, I reckon. I hope. Okay, that's a bit better swing. Almost centre in the both marks. Ah, yes, lovely. Probably about as good as you can get, I reckon, there. Unless you put a little bit of loft on it. Now, it should be our first birdie, I hope. Right, come on. Let's hope we get this. Let's go take this control a little bit. Just to make sure I hit a straight putt. And we do. Nice. Okay, Chez Rivi, he's 10 under after 14 holes. Like I said, <laughs> I don't care what the AI are scoring because I ain't going to get anywhere bloody near them. Again, that texture work in the, the sort of rough areas with the trees and the bushes and all, it's very nice. So as we're coming up here, you've got the houses on this sort of left-hand side of the fairway here. 
Yeah, I hope you're enjoying uh, these playthroughs. I mean, I'm really enjoying the courses. I hope you're having a bash at them as well. Oh, that was a peach of a drive, that one. Let's hope we can keep it going. Yeah, I don't know why I don't um, jump on the driving range. Just, I don't know, five, ten minutes, just hit a few balls. Just, just get the, the old tempo warmed up, if you know what I mean. Okay, 277 and 8 up. So I was playing around about 280. I mean, we can get on the green here. But let's have a look which way is this sloping. Everything seems to be going right to the left. But if we go on the green, is it going to make it past that hump? Let's aim it a little bit over that direction because we're on a, a right to left slope here. We're going to have to take the chance here, I think. Come on. Okay, we hit a nice one. But is it going to run up there? Oh no, that is gonna that's gonna land way short and that is gonna be one hell of a putt. I should have just dropped that short and pitched up, I think. But we shall see. Mind you, this is actually I don't know what's gonna hold, I think. Nope, 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 it's on the fringe. So we'll be able to chip it anyway. Okay, 15 yards. I am actually gonna drop it down. I'm gonna drop it down to the lob wedge and we're gonna hit this sort of slope here. I'm going to use a full swing, so it should get about 15 yards. Yeah, that'll do. Lovely. So that should set us up for a birdie putt as well. Again, I need to try and slow down my putt and rotate the control a little bit in my hand. And there you go. That gives me that nice sort of straight putt. It's weird though really is but if it's a longer putt than like say i don't know five to ten feet <clears throat> it's really hard for me to judge a distance if i if i rotate the controller i tend to over hit them hole seven 213 yards par three stroke in next one so this is playing the hardest hole on the course at the moment okay you got a nice big sort of slope coming off this right hand side here so i'd rather aim to the right but you probably hmm might just get it right down the center there actually but i'll aim a little bit to the right because i do not want to go down there definitely not do want to go down there so i don't want to hit a fast here okay right five iron Oof. i'm going to put just a tiny touch of loft on this as well oh yes that's nice that is a nice strike now come on that should pull round Slow up, slow up, slow up. Oh, I think I was just right to put that little bit of loft on. If that carried on another, I don't know, two, three, four feet, I think I probably would have been down that slope. Okay, again, slow down, take the putt. Oh, nice. So we are off to a good, well, we were off to a pretty shaky start, but we're starting to pick it up now. Okay, hole eight, 510 yards. Par four, stroke index three. And again, this sort of planting all down this right-hand side. And then you've got the, the sort of path, the cart path, winding its way through the trees on the left there. Great look to the course. <clears throat> As I said, it's got a really good sort of championship course look to it. Oh, look at the wind. Or should I say, what wind? <laughs> See, this is when you should be scoring. Okay, another nice drive. Right in the centre of both marks there. Oh, don't, don't, don't. That's okay. That's absolutely fine. So I just want to say welcome to... Um, uh, I've got quite a few new subscribers over the last sort of month or whatever. Hope you're enjoying the content. Uh, quite a few of these guys are joining in conversations and that as well in the comment section which is good i try to answer all the comments k209 okay, is playing 211 right 225 is way too much wow so if i can aim over here and make sure i get it on the green 
got a chance of it sort of running around. If I, if I aim straight at the pin, I've got a chance of coming up short. But if I go this direction, but we're on a right to left slope, so let's aim a little bit more this side. I do not want to go, I don't want to go to the right here again. Oh, sugar. Now, hopefully this might kick off. It does, nice. That is okay, that's fine, we'll take that. As long as I'm up on this sort of top section, I didn't want to be down that bottom section and having to hit up that pretty big slope towards the pin. Okay, right, 21 feet, five inches down. Okay. Turn, 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 turn. No, no, okay, slow down, oh shit. God damn it. <laughs> ah, that's exactly what I didn't want to go. Bugger. Right. Why did I do that? I should just like to put up. Oh dear. Oh, this is for par as well. Okay, let's have a look. Seems all pretty level up there. It's going a little bit left, going a little bit right. Starts off right to left. Okay, 44. Two feet up. Okay, come on. Oh, shh. Come on, slow up. Right, hopefully we might just come away with a bogey here. <coughs> Excuse me. Now it's going to drop us down. Don't mind this too. That was what a stupid putt that was. I don't know if I've changed my settings or something because uh, the distance on the putting marker, I usually have everything to fade and it was blocking the hole. It was kind of, I'm not making excuses, but it kind of put me off my, my putt there for some reason. I'm going to have to have a look at that after I finish the video. Oh, what a beautiful looking hole. The ninth. Okay, you've got a bunker right in the center of the fairway here. Not good. Oh dear. Good thing is that wind is pretty low. So let's go down here. That should take us just to the left of the bunker. I don't want to go to the right hand side because that sort of corner. Oh, I pulled that again. Way over to the left. I'm kind of hoping it's okay though. Oh, that's fine. Beautiful. Now, is that branch going to get in my way? Depends if we can reach the green too, anyway. We probably might just lay up. <coughs> 234, definitely reach the green. 225. Two, oh, right between clubs, though. Oh, dear. See, I think that's actually going to hit there. Hit on that rough, I reckon. So I might just pull it back. Might just pull it back to here. Pitching wedge. I will go with a 9 iron. Hopefully that doesn't go too far. And uh, leaves a nice shot into the green. Oh, that's okay. That's fine. And especially with uh, this wind, it's done, died right down. If I can hit a nice shot into the green, then it's going to be fine. Okay, it's playing 81. Now, uh, if we go full loft. We can hit 82, and we might actually get a little bit of spin back on this, I think. I don't know. Let's aim it over that this direction just a little bit. Right. Kind of hoping it's going to come off the slope. And it did. Nice. That's exactly where I wanted that to play out. Pretty flat little putt as well. Uh oh. Oof. I didn't think I was going to turn in there. Okay, we've got the shot back that we dropped. Yeah, we're back to minus three. Hole 10, 489 yards. Par 4 stroke index 10. Okay, got a couple of bunkers on the left there. 
that's probably going to be where your landing area is where this little turn round is okay right should be good just to smack the driver down there got quite a big um, slope on the fairway here as well everything's going right to left if you see that oh sugar again that's not a big pull to the left but with that slope on the fairway as well is it going to turn down no oh, that's going to be absolutely fine nice what am i worried about <laughs> 186, so it's playing around about 190 to the pin. 194 with a 5 iron, and we'll put a bit of loft on it. Not a bad lie, actually. Oh, that is nice. If it goes up towards the pin, come on, get up there. Yeah, that'll do. That's not too bad. Uh oh. Hold on, there's a slope. No, that's okay. That's going to leave us one hell of a putt, though. Yeah, I think if I drop down a club there, I think we have a chance of hitting that slope and leaving ourselves a huge uphill putt. But again, here, I need to be careful because look what I did last time. I way overhit it. So it looks like everyone's going right to left. So I'm going to just try and lag this up towards the hole. And that should be okay, actually. Oh, 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 ball, why didn't you drop? That was a very nice leg putt. K hole 11, 396 yards, par four, stroke index 14. Yeah, got a, got a great look to this course, it really has. I think the lighting, the textures, everything's fantastic. Okay, right. Now, I don't think we're going to cut this corner any. And plus, I mean, it's a short hole, so I'm just going to drop it down to the two wood. There's no point trying to just gain that little bit of extra distance. Drop it down to the two wood. That should be fine. Gives a nice approach into the green, probably a full shot. And we're on uphill slope. That leaves 106, 110 to the pin. We've got 108 with a sand wedge, so that should be fine. That should be good actually. Oh, come on. I can actually feel it in my swing that fast. I don't know why I'm swinging fast. But, I mean, that's not too bad where it landed. Okay, let's rotate this controller a little bit. Uh oh, uh oh, 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 damn. More worried about um, the straight putt line than it was the angle. Or should I say the, the break. But we'll take the par. K-hole 12, 165 yards, par 3, stroke index 6. Nice little par 3, I do like the short par 3s. K pin, bang on centre of the green here. And again, we've still got pretty low wind, that's 165, so it's playing around about 162. Uh, let's put a little bit of loft on it. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, we're on the green, but look how far we are away from the pin. And again, it's just out the tempo. I think it's the last, the last round I played, and the round before that, my tempo has been absolutely terrible. Okay, 42 feet, two inches are down. Everything's going right to left here. There you go. There's a little slope there. It should start turning. Come on, come on. Right, slow up. Slow up. Come on, ball. There we go. I'm kind of hoping we come away with the par here. Nice. Nice little par putt. 
Okay, hole 16, uh, hole 13. I just seen the six there from the 601. Hole 13, 601 yards, par five, stroking next 12. I right, hopefully we'll pick up a birdie here. We should be picking up birdies on virtually all the par fives. Especially if you just um, drive up, lay up, either a pitch or a full wedge into the green, you should be picking up birdies. Okay, quite a nice big wide fairway here. Let's try not to hit a fast or slow. Nice, there we go. I mean, I know I've been, I've been doing these videos for quite a few years now, but it's totally different when you're doing a video and commentating than what it is just playing. It's a lot more to the concentration part of it. Okay, now two wood. I think we'll just go down to the two iron here. Quite a big slope right to left, so we'll aim down to this sort of right hand side rough. That should come into the fairway. Come on. Oh, lovely. That'll do it. That should leave us a nice little pitch up onto the green and hopefully pick up a birdie. Okay, 58, so it's playing right about 61. Uh, we have 57 with a lob wedge, that should be absolutely fine. Check the lie. Yeah, that should be okay, I reckon. Get the perfect perfect. That should be absolutely spot on, and we should pick up the birdie. <clears throat> okay, we're quite lucky with the wind, actually. It's still staying pretty low. <gasps> See what I mean? Just do not concentrate on my bloody putts, especially the short ones. They just look so easy, and I moved that way too much to the right, put a little bit too much pace on it. Well, my pet. <laughs> Anybody else coming in here? Meh. Yeah. Louis Easton's just come in. Okay, hole 14, 546 yards, par 4, stroke index 8. That's a cracking looking hole as well, this one. Again, that texture detail that he's got in between the trees and the, the shrubs and the, the bushes there. Absolutely great. Okay, that wind has dropped right down again. Two mile an hour. Oh, this is a lengthy par 4. 4, 5, 46. Now why can't I hit every shot like that? Look at that. Peach right down the centre. Not a bad drive as well. 311 yards. <coughs> That's going to leave us, <coughs> excuse me, quite a long iron into the green here. 231. 225 with the two iron. I think that is going to be absolutely fine. It's going to hit that slope though. Oh, that is tracking absolutely beautiful, but it depends which way it rolls when it hits the green. Get up there, get up. Uh, that'll do nicely. Okay, 16 feet, two inches down. Oh, that's pacey. Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can tell straight away as soon as I swing. I'm just, uh, oof. Just do not concentrate. That's, that's, that's quite a few birdies I missed by just silly little putts that you're just not concentrating on. Oh, 15, 200 yards. Par 3, stroke next 2. I'll tell you what, this pin set number 1, the, the pins are pretty... Uh, I mean, you can go for these pins if you know what I mean. <clears throat> They're pretty approachable. <laughs> That's the word I was trying to look for. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> the old throat there. All right. Oh, but look at this. This looks pretty, pretty dangerous, doesn't it? 207. I think we should be good with the four iron, actually. But this might just... Pull away from the green, uh, pull away from the hole when it hits the green. Right, we get a nice strike on it. And it depends which way this is going to roll when it hits the green, though. Oh, that is okay. Stay there. 
That is okay. Right, come on, slow down with these bloody putts, take your time. So this is going to be a little tap. Ah, oh, there we go, nice. Hell 16. 507 yards, par 4, stroke index 4. That's another nice looking hole. The, the actual, all this down this left hand side is all out in the sunshine. You've got all down this right hand side is in the shade with the trees and that. I'd rather be over this left hand side, uh, right hand side, better angle into the green. Because if you come around about here, you're sort of going over the top of that edge of that bunker there. I would like to be over here somewhere. Oh, that's a nice drive. Yeah, that's it. Get over that right-hand side. That's exactly what I wanted it to be. <clears throat> and the wind is blowing in the right direction as well, just to sort of pull it in towards the green. K205. Uh, we should be good with the four iron here. I'm not going to go too far over this direction. I'm going to actually play over to this flat section here and just try and... Even if it gets on in the green, gives us a chance at a putt. I do not want to flirt with that bunker too much. Well, that wind should pull it around just a little touch. Oh, I said I didn't want to flirt with that bunker too much. And look at that, nearly went in the bloody thing. Oh, but look at that. What a bloody shot that was. Tap in, birdie, done. <laughs> nice one. Don't know why that came over so much to the right, uh, to the left there. Oh, look, Lee Westwood. He's just come in there. Tyrrell Hatton, Matthew Fitzpatrick. Okay, hole 17, 300 yards, par 4, stroke index 18. So this is playing the easiest hole on the course. And it's a pretty short par 4. So it looks like we're just going to lay up to the left of the green here. And maybe even just chip on. Yeah, definitely gonna, not going to go with the driver. I might just go with the two wood here. If you go with the driver, you're going to hit that back end rough. So I think I'm just going to go with the two wood. Just try and feed it through that little gap. That should be okay. I did push it, uh, pull it a little bit to the left there though, but that's going to kick off that little hill. Just run up towards the green and that should leave us a, a little chip or a flop shot on to the green. Uh, we've got 21 yards. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Right, so that usually gives you about 15 yards. <clears throat> Let's go with the, the gap wedge. Let's try that. Oh, that is not bad at all. That is very well judged. See, when you put, when I used to play in TGC tours, I used to have a little booklet that would tell me the run out for everything. Uh, the distance, the, the landing distance, the run out and all that. But when you're not playing competitive, you don't use anything like that. Okay. Hole 18, 574 yards, par 5, stroke index 16. Great view off this tee here. You can see that city skip there, cityscape there in the background. Again, lovely plant and all that down that left hand side. Okay, nice big par 5. Just follows the lake all the way around. And I tell you what guys, I am actually, once we get up here, once I hit my drive, I am going to put the old sky cam on again, because I quite like to look at that 18th hole, just for a thumbnail. Oh, Peach for the last drive, get in there. Right down the centre of the fairway. Lovely. Right. Let me put this um, sky cam on just one more time. Just to get... Let's go a little bit further down here. How's that? Maybe down a little bit. Let's try over here. Just want a little bit... That, that'll do, I think. That looks very nice. Yeah, that'll do. I reckon. A little bit more to the left down. It kind of... 
the haziness sort of took the green away, if you know what I mean. But that looks okay there. That'll do. That'll do for a thumbnail. I mean, even that there looks looks great with the sun up there. But when you try to put your title um, on your thumbnail as well, when the sun's that bright, sometimes it's hard to see it. Okay, two fifty six. Five down. But with that wind, we've got, it's probably going to hit that rough and roll into the bunker. So I think. Oh, 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 oh. oh dear. If I come down a club, <clears throat> got a good chance of not getting on here at all. Yeah, I think we will. Even, yeah, that should be okay. Five mile an hour. That'll leave us a, a little flop onto the green. I hope. Come on, get up there. Onto that bit. No, don't crowd. Bloody crowd. You hear them going, oh. <laughs> oh dear. Right. 36 for the flop. That should be okay. We'll put a bit of loft on it since we're coming out of the rough. We'll get the perfect downswing. So that should be good. Oh yes. And we're going to pick up a birdie for the last hole. Nice one. There you go guys, uh, that is Katagawa CC Tour and that is Matt F27's entry into the Olympic uh, Design Contest at TGC Tours. I loved that, that was an absolutely fantastic course and it looked and played like a major championship course, it really really did. I mean if the wind was even higher, I mean I'm not playing that great at the moment anyway, but if the wind was higher I, I could prove a really really good challenge. I mean you've seen how many birdies I missed with some silly little putts and stuff and some stupid approach shots but I still come away with a minus seven so I think that was a really really nice course, really nice course to play looked absolutely fantastic as well so good job there. So again guys don't forget if you like the content hit that like button I'll catch you again next time. Thanks for watching again stay safe